All right, y'all. So I am out here with another one and two. Okay, what's your name? Vanessa. Vanessa? And five. Okay, all right. And so y'all are married? No. Okay. You're engaged. Okay, all right. So how long have you been? Okay, all right. So how do your families mesh together? Um, so far, so good. So, so far, far, so good. good. My family is actually here in Jacksonville, so we just met at my sister's house over here for the Fourth of July. Okay. So I said they're good. They love it. Okay, all right. And so what brought y'all to the beach today? The beach. <laughs> the beach brought us to the beach. The water, it was hot. Everybody was sitting at home, and they wanted, they wanted to wait for the sun to go down, and we leave tomorrow. So every time we come to Florida, although it's just a little five-hour drive, we always come to one of the beaches, this one or another one over there, and we just decided to drive out here today. Okay, and so where's home again? Um, Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta? Yeah. Okay. Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, I got some family there. Oh, yes, okay. ma'am. Okay, so what, as far as careers, you know, what do you what do you do? I work for a nonprofit. Um, I've been there for 30 years. Congratulations. I've been years my age and my years of service do not match. Okay. So therefore, <laughs> I had to work a little bit harder. Okay. Uh, and longer. Okay. Uh, and help, he's retired. You well, retired? Not really retired. You know, you know you're a man don't never retire when you're <laughs> working in his uh, I work, I still work. I am all company, so my son and I, you know, we start working. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, people call and it sounds like something the person going out. Like, you You'll go do you know, it. That's just my nature. I like working in the Yes, sir. Okay, and I guess I want to ask you, you know, um, based off your own life experiences, if you had any advice to offer people, you know, what would you tell them? To offer the world or people or you or who will be saying this advice to? You're just giving the advice, you know, based off your own life experiences. If you were talking to anybody, you know, or anybody, let's just say someone that, um, it's it just having a hard time in life. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, um, first of all, I'm with the SCLC, the Southern Christian Leadership. Got the key on And uh, I've been with them for 10 years. Ever since I was here, Lee Boyce, Paul Selma Bridge, and uh, Emily Pappas and all that. And uh, very close to all the presidents. I miss uh, uh, the first president. I, I miss him. Martin Luther King. You know, but, uh, yeah. But the boy from under here, from uh, Avalanche, Dr. Avalanche, all the way down to Dr. Spear, which is the president now. That includes, you know, everybody in between. I had a relationship with him, you know, at the beginning of the Freedom Fight, they call me a foot soldier. So I'm always out in the street, him a head beat up for us. Make sure I get out right here. You know, I like that, going to jail. Going to jail so many times. <laughs> but I don't rob, steal, and kill. If I yeah. You ain't even gonna touch it. Morning. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Maybe we'll do it, then we don't I know that's it. right. You that's know, what's life up. Life is too short. Mostly dealing now. I speak it. It's not just mostly to the young brothers, especially mm -hmm. those who are, uh, and tell them how important it is whether you're married or not. Help your child, uh, your child mother to survive. Be a real man. Don't come telling me you can give her uh, $100 every month. You got two kids. Mm -hmm. What can she buy a week? Let's go out and buy some milk bread and, and, and a little roast. That's $100 going go. already. So she got three weeks to come out of her pocket to pay the bills, the water bill, the light bill, rent, or, or notes, or everything. So we need to grow up and get our minds and spend our time that these are our children. And that's why we in jail. That's why we out here running crazy. Right. We don't understand that's what right. we're saying. We're not, because we don't sit down to get the knowledge to know uh, what, what is our job as a man on this earth, especially a black man with the dead, of how far we falling behind. Mm. We fall behind every day, mm. and we never come back to really, uh, and then you got to sit down and be, be faithful to and truthful to you. One thing I learned is to listen to the black people. Mm. So you got to 
listen to it, muscles and everything else, you know. That was our muscles. But for her, we wouldn't have never been where we are now. She know, so she can't be wrong with everything, you mm. know what I'm mm. So we analyze and find out what we can do and what makes us a better man. Mm. And if daddy would have started doing what our great great father was doing, carrying us to work with them, giving us a job, we wouldn't have to worry about other people coming and taking our job. We have a trade in our mind and our head mm. that we can do for ourselves. Mm. As long as you don't have a trade, or whatever, even a skill and something out here, mm -hmm. you're going to be lost. I don't care how much education you have because they can shut the doors on That's our right. education. That's right. That's right. Which they are doing now anyway. You know. Yes, sir. Man got a, me and some, I, I do construction work, you know. And, and a lot of guys make more money out there in the construction than they will if they was uh, graduated with a degree oh. in college. So it's good to have both of them. I'm not telling you not to go yes, to school. Yes, sir. I, I, I inspired you to go to school. My son, um, you know, he helped me like I was helping my father. That's how I, I'm construction. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a cement mason. Okay. Yeah, I'm local. Okay. I'm local 148 Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Plus, I'm the president of the Jefferson County SCLC. That you were just telling me about. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. And what 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 are your names again? I don't know if I got them. My name is Bobby. Bobby. Yeah. Okay. And Vanessa. And Vanessa. Or Mr. Adams. Yeah. Or Mr. Adams. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. And if y'all had a final piece of advice, you know, what would you like to tell people? You know, are you religious people? You know, or or. I would say just peace, love, and harmony. It's just too much crime, especially on black on black crime. We don't have to keep up with the Joneses every time they get a new house or a new car, or you jealous or you envy mm -hmm. or a person bump you the wrong way or step on your shoe, then they gotta lose their life. It's too many of us losing our lives over nothing. Mm. We should be thankful and blessed for what we have. We got air conditioning when it's 100 degrees. We got heat when it's below zero. We got food. They give it food the way on every corner in Atlanta. Yes, they the are. Church. So can't nobody be hungry. And we just need peace, love, and harmony in our life, especially amongst ourselves as black people. White people sit back laughing at us. We killing ourselves every single day. You don't see another race on television, that's on true. the news, or anywhere. That's true. That's killing us, our own brothers and sisters. That's true. Killing your mamas, your daddies, your grandmamas. And we just gonna have, we, when are we gonna wake up? We just need to just wake up and just, Love one another as the Lord will have us to love one another. We're the only race that seems to hate each other, but then yet still we say, I love you. We walk beside our brothers and sisters every single day in this world. And forget to say, I love you, sister. I love you, my brother. But every day you can say, I love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's I love right. you. We never seen him a day in our life. We don't know nothing but what we heard. Never seen him. But you, my sister, well, I can't even say I love you. But we every day we say, how can I say I love the Lord whom I never ever seen before? Forget to say I love the ones I walk beside each and every day. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Wow. Okay, well, I just want to say it's been such a pleasure. I really appreciate y'all doing this interview, um, throwing out the advice that you gave, um, a lot of things that you said. Um, <laughs> I was literally just having some of these conversations, you know, within the past couple of hours, the past couple of days, you know, just about a race, you know. Yes, yes, um, absolutely. So, yeah, I agree. But thank y'all so much. Thank you. And thank, thank you, you for coming. Thank and, uh, you we need more people like you getting involved in what people are doing and maybe that helping you to find out and think where you can share what best for uh, some of the good things we can do to get back on the track. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Thank